the new COVID summer surge racing across the country. New York City, now the first American city to require proof of vaccination at restaurants, gyms, performances, and other indoor activities. And the growing concern for children, too young to be vaccinated, pediatric COVID cases nearly doubling, 72,000 last week. But one positive note, vaccinations are up, especially in high infection states. 191 million people with at least one dose, 67% of those 12 years and older. ABC's Eva Pilgrim in Brooklyn tonight. Tonight, New York City, the original epicenter of the coronavirus announcing it will become the first city in the country to require proof of vaccination for a range of indoor activities. If you're unvaccinated, unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in many things. That's the point we're trying to get across. Starting September 13th at restaurants, gyms, and entertainment venues, customers and workers will need to show vaccination proof on a city or state app or a physical card. On the one hand, I don't like it, but I do think that the public health be is more important than anything else. But with COVID cases surging nearly 600% in New York City in the last month, the mayor calling the new mandate the key to the city's recovery. Late today, President Biden urging the private sector to require vaccinations. This isn't easy, but I will have their backs and the backs of other private public sector leaders if they take such steps. The president also calling out states who have banned mask mandates, including in schools, where young children are still not eligible to get a vaccine. If you aren't going to help, at least get out of the way of the people who are trying to do the right thing. Use your power to save lives. Vaccinations are ticking up, the biggest jumps in states with some of the highest infection rates. But every day, the number of Americans in hospitals is climbing. Today, 56,000, the most since February. From Florida to Louisiana, a record number of COVID patients. I've never seen a disease do what the Delta variant is doing right now to our patient population. Nearly all are unvaccinated and many are filled with regret. They are so sick and they are so scared and for the most part they are so remorseful that they did not get this vaccination that all i can feel for them is such extreme sympathy and there is mounting concern for children pediatric covid cases nearly doubling in the last week at texas children's hospital a steady climb in new covid patients so you don't think that you've actually hit the peak yet I don't think we've hit that peak yet. And the troubling part of this is that we're in early August. And with fall sports and school around the corner, that could be obviously a very potent combination. Something else for parents to think about in all of this. Eva Pilgrim is back with us now. And Eva, health officials are not yet recommending booster shots, but San Francisco General Hospital says it will be offering an extra vaccine dose to people who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And the FDA is now weighing in. That's right. The hospital says they'll be giving a Pfizer or my Moderna vaccine to those who've requested it, calling it a supplemental dose. But the FDA's vaccine chief, Peter Mark, says they don't re recommend taking things into your own hands. And it's not what you're supposed to do under the emergency use authorization. Wit. We'll stand by for more news on that. Eva, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.